Ignite, the world premiere of a brand new music video from Spike Muggle of the Hula Girls and Spike's Breezeway Cocktail Hour featuring Vincent Minervino of High Tide Recordings starring Larissa and the Murder Queen. A story of a good girl. Gone bad. A tragic tale of sex, violence, and rock and roll. Join us Halloween night, 6.30 Pacific, youtube.com slash the Hula Girls! For years and years I've produced this Curse of the Tiki show that's been burlesque performers and contortionists and this is ridiculous. I, I seriously, I can't talk through this thing. I don't even know if you can hear me. Uh, let me, I gotta, oh, oh for God's sake. I, what am I gonna do, the whole cocktail show like this? Oh. This is much better. Aloha folks, welcome back to Spike's Breezeway Cocktail Hour. Happy to have you. I'm not expecting anybody. We had a guest last week. Why, there's not a guest scheduled for this week. Take a look. Uh, who is it? doing this cocktail video. Uh, I wasn't planning on having a guest, but are you interested in being on the video? I wasn't expecting a guest. I'm sorry, I gotta take this off. But this young lady showed up with her skull, and I guess we're gonna have her on the show too. So, do you know anything about Tiki? No. Okay. Well, we are gonna be making a cocktail from the 1940s, Don the Beachcomber in Hollywood, California. Since it's Halloween time, we're gonna do one in these mugs here, and it's gonna be on fire. It's a coffee drink. I like fire. Okay, so for this cocktail, we will be using honey, oranges, lemons, butter, Lemon Heart 151, Dark Jamaican Rum, this is Smith and & Cross, and Ground Cinnamon. It burns. Okay, well, but the main ingredient of this drink is coffee. So I brewed a batch of Kona coffee, and we're gonna be using that in the drink. Okay, before we do anything, we're gonna make this honey mix. It's a honey cream mix. It's just one part honey, one part butter, and uh, pardon me, miss, we are going to be using this butter here and this honey here. What we're gonna do is two tablespoons of butter. I'm just gonna cut off a piece there. And this has been sitting out for a while, so it's had a chance to mush up a little bit. Is that, okay. Mush sounds right. Okay. And then we're gonna use two tablespoons of honey. I'll do this. So a lot of times these drinks are kind of a pain in the ass to make because you're making some bizarre syrup. What do you call it? Syrup? It's a mix? cream. Yeah, it's a cream just for like one drink. I, I think this is going to taste pretty good once it's all done. And Don the Beachcomber in the 1940s would personally come out and serve this cocktail himself. Uh, the recipe that we're using is a combination from the Don the Beachcomber Hawaii Tropical Drinks and Cuisine book and also from our friend Hurricane Hayward's Mai Kai cocktail. The Mai Kai also serves this drink, and it's also because Mariana Liquidini came from Don the Beachcomber in Hollywood and came to Florida to work at the Mai Kai, and so naturally he brought a lot of the Don the Beachcomber cocktail recipes with him. All right, so I guess we have the mix here mixed. I think it's mixed enough. Okay, so we will um, move this out of the way temporarily. For the first time ever, we're gonna use the Breezeway stove. I bought this specifically for this drink. 
Okay, yes. so we're gonna go ahead and turn this thing on to, uh, I'd say about halfway. We're just gonna use it to heat up the coffee. We will put the pan here, and then we are going to measure two cups of coffee. Spooky. Mm -hmm. Add in three teaspoons of our honey cream mix. Nope. There's one. Two. I feel like that's a lot, but. Is that? I don't know, I think it's probably fine. And three teaspoons of honey. Honey cream. Honey cream. Would you like to, to whisk that in there, please? This is exciting, I've never made like a hot, a hot drink on the show yet. Okay, while the coffee is staying heated here. Okay, I'm gonna move that to the side and then what we're gonna do is in this little pitcher here, we're gonna make the rum mix. So it's gonna be one ounce of each one of these things. So that's the 151. That's what's gonna set the thing on fire and pour that into the kettle. kettle. And then an ounce of dark Jamaican rum. Hmm. That's the good stuff. Okay, and I'm gonna pour that into here. Okay, and then that goes in there also. And then half a teaspoon of cinnamon. Okay, that goes in there. It's a dangerous job. These are all the peels. These chopsticks are actually from the Tonga room at the Fairmont. I got them in college like 15 years ago. It's a long time ago. Thanks. Yeah. All right, so that's kind of the cocktail. We have the peels soaking in the rums and the cinnamon. Then we have the coffee over here mixing with the honey butter cream, right? We are going to fill our mugs with the coffee. And this mug right here is from the Kahiki in Columbus, Ohio, which I could have gone to. It had a giant like three-story Moai fireplace. I'm sure it was incredible to see in person. This mug right here is from the Mai Kai. So we don't have anything for Don the Beachcomber here, but they do serve this drink at the Mai Kai today. So it is possible to get this today at the Mai Kai. Okay, so I'm going to carefully pour this into the mug. And apparently this makes one drink. Let me see if I can move the stove. That's really hot. So in the 1940s, Don Beach would present this himself. And the trick to this is you light an orange peel that's been soaking in the 151. You light it on fire and then dip it back in here. The whole thing goes up and then you pour it on fire into the glass. That seems like so many things could go wrong here. But it's Halloween, so. All right, so I'm gonna use my Tonga Room chopsticks, pull out a piece of peel. Do you have a light, miss? Hmm, it's pink. Can you please reach over and light this on fire? Whoa, I don't think you can see it. I see the flames. But this is on fire now from the 1940s, the Kona Coffee Grog. It's supposed to be on fire though. Oh, Whoa! There we go. So from the 1940s, this is the Kona Coffee Grog. See, I wonder if we can split this. Okay, so that we each get our own drink here. So from the 1940s, the Kona Coffee Grog. Cheers, miss. Cheers. Wow. That's strong. That is strong. That's, I mean, it's definitely coffee. Uh, you can definitely taste the rum, although I think I add a little bit more 151 in it. It's good though. Do you like it? I do. It's a bit strong for my taste, but mm -hmm. it's good. Mm -hmm. So you get hints of the fruit peel, just like a little bit. Woo. Yeah. <clears throat> like warms the soul. You a soul? I lost it a long time ago. 
Let's go. The I one... feel like I could breathe fire. I feel like you probably could. It's interesting. I like coffee, yeah. I like rum. The combination is interesting. Yeah. I like honey and butter too. It almost kind of has a bit of a hot buttered rum feel to it. With the 151, it's definitely more potent. Very potent. You know, one thing I did forget for this drink was the garnish. Sometimes they would use a cinnamon stick. So I'll just grab that real quick. All right, so cinnamon sticks were sometimes placed in there and then that's the drink. So once again, cheers. cheers. Thank you so much for coming on the show. It was very unplanned and I don't normally just allow strangers onto the show, but she seemed interesting. Cheers to that. I The more I drink it, the more I like it. It is really, it is really a good drink. I mean, it's, it is potent, but yeah. How do you feel? Is it hitting you? Because it's like, <clears throat> is it strong? It's, it's a bit strong. <sighs> Feeling okay? I just feel like it's hit, like it's hitting me funny. Like it's, um, is it hitting you? Not as hard as it's hitting you. I don't know what that means. Yeah, maybe I should sit down or something. Please be sure to like, comment, and subscribe for more cocktail videos. Aloha. monkey legs off. <laughs> Go for it. Burns. <laughs> <laughs> Does. Try the cinnamon challenge. You might die. I brewed a couple of batches of Kona coffee. Kona coffee? What is it called? Yeah, it's Kona. Yeah. <laughs> this is like, I have no idea what we're doing right now. This is gonna take me forever to edit because it's gonna be a bunch of like <laughs> f ups. <laughs> you are the entire blooper reel. Did this? <laughs> And I just pulled a muscle in my neck. Like it, it hurts so bad right now. I saw that. I got it on boomerang. Okay. <laughs> That's it. Yeah. Oh, for f**k's sake. <laughs> oh, you've never done that before. I don't want you to slice your finger off. I have monkey fur on me still. <laughs> I know. It, it is super scary. Okay. Don't slip. Don the Beachcomber drink uh, from the Don the Beachcomber, what the hell is this thing called? Breezeway Kitchen. Breezeway Kitchen? Does he like butter? Don't give him any butter. I feel like this is going to go all over the place. Ah! Ah! From the 1940s, the Kona Coffee Grog. on fire. Oh, I think I put it out when I did that. Oh no! Oh my god, did you burn yourself? It's so hot. This is the worst possible thing to be using. Okay, here. Did it go out? It went out. <laughs> this is a weird experiment. It's good. Ugh. No? <laughs> Just strong. Oh my god. 
Okay, this has been a total, total mess. <laughs> oh, oh. oh my God, How what did is that even happening? happen? I don't know. You know, one thing I did forget for this drink was the garnish. Sometimes they would use a cinnamon stick. So let me just grab that real quick. That cinnamon was so <laughs> stupid. All right, so cinnamon <laughs> stick. <laughs> I like it a lot and I like bunny, <laughs> bunny. You don't like it? Ew, I don't know. It's just very strong. All I taste is rum. Mm. I was trying to get you to plan this better. I know. <laughs> what, um... <laughs> like spit it? Yeah. Like oh. Open your mouth. Yeah. And let it like drip down my face. <laughs> you know what would be rad? Huh. Is if I knock the, the, the mug off the thing. But it landed. Okay, hold on. Oh, look at the bubby. He's so cute. And three teaspoons of honey um, syrup mix. Or honey, what is it called? Honey cream. Honey cream. It's, um, it's just kind of hot. Like it's hot in here. Is it hot? I think that's just you. Mm. Thank you. That's so funny. I actually started laughing too. It's so funny. I mean, it tastes pretty good. It's not bad. It's just like the idea of it is f***ing disgusting. <laughs> if you insist. Okay. It's fake. Yeah. There's so much of it though. Is it like, it's all in my beard. <laughs> I'm good. For more cocktail videos. Aloha. Aloha. Happy Halloween. <laughs> <laughs>